This video will cover the topic of the area of circles. Be sure the date and topic are at the top of your page. The essential question to guide this video is how do we calculate the area inside a circle? To find the area of a circle, we are again going to need to use pi, and again we're going to use the representation of 3.14 for pi. So just jumping right into it, the formula for finding the area of a circle is going to be taking pi and multiplying it by the radius squared. We'll have a chance to investigate why this is in class, and it's pretty amazing to see it actually firsthand, how this works. However, for now, we're just going to take a few moments to see how we use the algorithm. So this circle here has a radius of three inches, and to find the area, the space inside the circle, it would be really hard to count all the squares, right? Because we have all these kind of weird pieces here on the edges. So we're going to use the formula pi times the radius squared. So I'm just going to fill in what we know to show you how we do this. So pi, of course, we're going to use is 3.14. The radius is 3, and we're going to square that. So we need to first do our exponent in PEMDAS. I'm just going to do the PEMDAS here. So I haven't used pi yet. I, we need to remember that 3 squared means 3 times 3, not 3 times 2. So 3 times itself, which is 9. And then from there, we can multiply that square by pi. And if we do that, we find out that there's 28 and about 26 hundredths square inches. Remember, this is area, so it has to have that little 2 in the corner to represent square inches. And that's how we use the algorithm. This time it's your turn. I'd like you to try finding the area of this circle that has a radius of 10. Pause the video and then we'll compare and see how you did. So take a moment to calculate the area of this circle. How'd you do? Did you get 314 square feet? If so, you followed the steps correctly. If, on the other hand, you maybe got 62 and 8 tenths feet squared, you might have accidentally done 10 times 2 to get 20 and then multiplied that by pi. Remember, 10 squared is 10 times 10 to get that 100. So nice job if you got 314 square feet. You correctly and accurately follow the rule for finding the area of a circle. Let's try this one. Now we have a circle here, and what we know is that the diameter is 12. However, to find the area of a circle, of course, we have to use pi times radius squared. So we have to do one preliminary step first, and that is that if the diameter is 12, we have to just be aware of it and make sure we realize, oh, that means the radius is just half of that. It's just 6, right? From here to here, that would just be 6 meters. So from there, once you know that, you can go ahead and follow the rest of the steps where you would take your radius, and since exponent comes first in PEMDAS, you would do that part first and multiply it by our representation of pi to get our final answer, which is about 113 and 4 hundredths square meters or meters squared. So for this last circle, I'm going to go ahead and ask you to find the area of this last circle. And I'm not going to put it up here on the screen. I'll just be able to check it when I check in with you on your homework tomorrow. So make sure that you are following along carefully and that you're hearing me say that you need to come with the area complete tomorrow in square inches. Remember that the topic of this video is how we calculate the area inside a circle. And there's a formula that we use, and it gets used every single time and can be used without fail. And that is that we use pi r squared. And we'll investigate a little bit more about how and why that works together in class.